see within... for your part mm-hmm. definitely you are doing well you have surrounded yourself with english and that's what ultimately we have to do whatever we can find in english we have to start using them within our daily routine platform he could speak malayalam even tamil hindi english and i'm like oh shit <laughs> oh my goodness i'm like i know too. he knows <laughs> four or five oh. cricket such inspiration to boys you know your boys audience need to listen to you g mains g advanced so it's like delhi has its corners you know on this corner yeah. it's all you psc on this corner it's all neat and g yeah. <laughs> Yes, now you are visible. <laughs> okay, great. Hi Ashutosh, how are you? Yeah, I am fine. Thank you. How about you? Great. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Where are you from? Okay, I'm speaking to you from Kanpur city of Uttar Pradesh. Kanpur. Currently you're in Kanpur only? Yes, exactly. Okay, all right. And what number of session is this for you on the platform? I think this is maybe the 10th session I think Ten. if I'm not mistaken okay mm-hmm. and how are your sessions going fantastic i have <laughs> done uh, the sessions with uh, like different different tutors and it was really okay. amazing mhm mm-hmm. okay so all these 10 sessions in different speakers Yes, <laughs> I have done like yeah, two sessions. I have done with like you know Meghan. Apart from this, I have done with like different different tutors, different speakers. Great, you've got variety, you know. <laughs> so you get to experience all. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. So apart from taking sessions here, anything else that you are doing for your practice, or is this all? Yeah, exactly. I do. I am trying to converse, uh, do the conversation with the people as much as I can. I have done a lot of conversation with the strangers, as it is my hobby from the COVID nineteen talking to strangers. Okay. I do like talking to the people and exploring. So I do practice. I do everything in English nowadays. Whatever I do. Wonderful. Okay. So how did you find these strangers to talk to in the COVID period? <laughs> it was really fantastic because you know the situation was really pathetic and the people they were always talking about the covid 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 so talking to strangers was uh, really refreshing and uh, new new people were there so sometimes i was upset also because sometimes the people they were just uh, doing the time pass so sometimes it was kind of mood off thing but uh, apart from this it was really interesting journey yeah interestingly uh even i joined clipping go during the time of uh, covid 19 we were so yeah, depressed sitting great. at home <laughs> having nothing to do whatsoever and it was like you know i i thank my stars that oh thank god i found clipping go i could talk to people <laughs> yeah <laughs> so it was, exactly it was wonderful at that otherwise i don't think i would have survived that period it was very disturbing for a person like me who cannot sit at home mm-hmm. and who needs to talk to new people every now and then yeah i don't think i would have survived <laughs> so same yeah story. exactly <laughs> okay all right so that's good you are into a habit of talking to strangers do you still talk to strangers or clipping with yeah you? nowadays of course uh, it is difficult to just you know do a, lo- a lot of conversations because i became busy with a lot of activities and now even though yeah i just forget i am running a youtube channel so i oh. have to edit videos and it has been year and half so nowadays i don't get that much time to connect with them but at least now and then whatever you said the i am trying to just take the time from my schedule to talk with the strangers whenever they are texting to me okay so what is your channel about the channel is all about communication skills as i told you that i started practicing from the covid 19 so it has been two and half years i have okay. gone through the whole journey of english speaking so i am trying to help others by my journey so it is all about spoken english much needed in today's time i think it's much needed because i find ah, people yes. struggling with the language a lot and it's obvious because it's not ours obviously so yeah we are heading towards the privatization and so communication is very important in our country very right important. now and the problem is that we do not focus on our own language we are just focusing on english which is not our language 
but what can we do it's just how the system works and we are yeah, kind of course like the l- right now we are just english is having just as an international language Global and language. of course even though i'm happy that uh, by learning english you can communicate with the people from all over the world if you will go with the different different languages like you will have to learn a korean to just you know talk with the korean, <laughs> like people from yeah. korea you will have to learn a spanish to talk with the people from spain. spain but at least now you can learn english and talk to the people from all over the world so what wow. a wonderful thing like so. yeah but you know it's like so sad when you go outside you are asked this question do you know how to speak in english when people come from outside to india do they ask like do you know how to speak in hindi no nobody will ask this question to them which is so wrong but you know yeah. what i really like about uh, some countries you know china and japan they do not promote english they yeah they are stick to culture. their language exactly mm-hmm. they like if you are here mm-hmm. you've got to learn our language if you are in japan you've got to learn japanese then only you'll be able to communicate with us so yes exactly even though talk. today i was talking to a guy like he is living uh, he is from nepal but working in korea so i said to him he was just talking to me that can you help me to speak uh, english i said you are living in korea but he said that he is talking in korean not in english i said oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh wow <laughs> i really like people you know who actually run after their own culture so that's so sweet yeah okay but yeah i think even though i am also one of them i think you know before just starting my journey of english speaking i was very proud of speaking hindi and i wanted to see myself like uh, the person like kumar viswas and i would promote my language hindi to just you know the world level but i don't know what happened some incident happened and the few cases happened with me so i thought like let's learn this language learning by learning language also you can put your culture towards the world right now i am having this language and i can tell to the americans can i can to tell to the people. british people right yeah. of course so true can reach out to more people yes that's true you know it's like pros and cons both go hand in hand with such things we cannot do anything about it yes true but it's mm-hmm. just that today's system has compelled us to this state that no you've got to learn english but it's okay i understand that english is important yes it is you've got to learn but there are people who feel like oh, we are nothing if we do not know the language that is completely wrong Because yeah of course that is completely wrong because at least of wrong. course we are far far better than the people who are able to speak even as a, only a single language we are mm-hmm. able to speak hindi english and english. some people they are able to speak a third language as well right so a lot of them we are yeah. really better than them mm-hmm. of course i found one learner here on the platform he could speak malayalam even tamil hindi english and i'm like oh shit oh my goodness <laughs> i'm like i know two. he knows mm-hmm. four or five oh my god yeah. it was amazing to talk to him was he was wonderful but his weakness what he thought of himself was like i am not so good because i don't know english so i was like no come on please don't say that but that's how he has been made to feel in his office yeah setup. this according to the society now of course english became a symbol of status like exactly. if you're not able to speak english of course the people they are going to pull you down and they are going to tell you no you are nothing in the front of them exactly. as you can see a lot of videos like people they are just speaking in english so another person who is even though the talented and brilliant he is going to be silent that of course another person is is speaking english in front of him so mm-hmm. i don't really uh, think that but of course even though i like you know that you can't change the market you will have to change yourself so i thought of working on communication skills because it is really oh, important good. now it is of course and this is the reason that you are helping so many people through your channel you are reaching out to more yeah. audience <laughs> so that's nice okay any habit of watching any english movies or web series uh i'm so sorry to say but i'm not a kind of movie guy as speeches i do listen to the people international leaders and uh, i have been watching to super su- successful people always so mm-hmm. but i don't like the watching movies in bollywood also even though hollywood so not english series and nothing mm-hmm. like that but yeah i have watched few movies only like uh, which we will call, like you know i'll call it 
inspirational movie i just you know i am more into watching inspirational movies in hindi also like three idiots tari jami par pan singh tomar and uh, uh, misal mangal i have watched in like my whole life i have watched maybe like uh, maybe 15 to 20 movies but all were related to this inspirational mm-hmm. stuff mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. sarab ji is very like that so. mm-hmm. have you watched sher shah no i'm sorry yeah. I think you should read. Really Nowadays watch. I'm too busy with my stuff like whatever I do. So nowadays I don't watch movies. I was a big fan of watching cricket also. Nowadays oh, I don't watch cricket as well. I follow only just you know score, uh, like uh, that cricket buzz for the scores only. Score. <laughs> He's like okay if I could just get the scores that's more than enough. Ah uh, yes. <laughs> Who is going to waste like 3 or 4 hours watching oh. whole cricket? such inspiration to boys you know your boys audience need to listen to you like oh, please do so, not waste was, your time i was so crazy like you know like <laughs> in the beginning like yeah. well, just few years before i used to watch test cricket i was having the potential to watch cricket for 5 days continuously but oh now God. i don't watch now i don't th- now time for me to work on myself so the people Badly they can clap standing. for me rather no. than i wow. should clap for others My father is a crazy cricket fan. He will watch each and every ball, and then oh he watch goodness. the highlights. Each and every ball highlights also he will watch. Then, then he will discuss. He will go out and he will discuss. Like he doesn't discuss it with things. anybody. No, he doesn't discuss it with anybody <laughs> because uh, uh, he he is in a showroom. He runs a showroom where he is there and his helper boys. I don't know if he talks to them yeah. for uh, cricket uh-huh. scores or something. but he has to watch every single ball that is being delivered oh my so god like oh shit yeah that is at least it is okay that some people they are watching the whole cricket and after that they are wasting their That's time it. to just discuss <laughs> same thing yeah yeah okay who played wrong who played right uh, yes. how the alignment was how the players had to go oh shit they are so this yeah they will become the coach and they will tell coach. every single player how to play like that this is the thing my father and my brothers both of them they'll sit together if my brother has time then they'll watch balls and then they'll start co- commenting like what are you doing yeah that was a wrong ball you should have thrown this way so i just look yeah. at them and i'm like he cannot <laughs> hear you he cannot hear you <laughs> <laughs> yeah so they do these kind of things so it's pretty <laughs> what can i say so Anything. like i'm having a question like where do you live like for me oh i live in delhi i'm in delhi where in delhi like specific <coughs> have you ever been to delhi i have been to noida sector 62 so i have visited uh, uh, like several places of delhi like mm-hmm. the related to upsc like lakshmi nagar and uh, karul bag like i have been there to just yeah. watch Uh-huh. Like I've been there to visit some coachings with one of my friends. So. Okay, uh, I am more to the south part, South Delhi part. Uh, you know, Lajpat Nagar, South, Nagar, south X, Malwa yes. Nagar, these sort of areas. Yes, I live mm-hmm. there. Uh, so it oh, falls like great. opposite to Karol Bagh and Lakshmi Nagar. Ah uh, yes, but yeah, uh, as I told you that due to the UPSC, like you will have to visit those areas, GTB yes. Nagar and Mukherjee Nagar. I have seen a lot of coaching centers related to IELTS also and UPSC also. Yes. Ah, uh, towards South X, you will find a lot of coaching centers for NEET, G mains, G advanced. So it's like Delhi has its corners, you know. On this corner, yeah. it's all you. PSC on this corner, it's all meat and the gym. Yeah, <laughs> you will. Yeah, you will get the different, different kind of like yeah. you know, students at different, different part. That's great. Yeah. So towards Lakshmi Nagar and all, you won't find MBBS and NEET aspirants. You will all find UPSC aspirants. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, what about you? Is. Like, what about your studies? Like. you got into like masters i think you know masters in relations or something like that what was that how do you know that Where like i have watched that? some of your videos like so i think i came to yeah i am it. another one of failed neat aspirants i did try for neat i'm a doctor by profession but i'm not into mbbs i'm into physiotherapy i'm doing my masters in physiotherapy oh okay <laughs> so okay, yeah i did great. try neat dropped a year as well but couldn't make it maybe it wasn't for me or maybe i didn't score that well so i had to find another way of putting a prefix 
So after that, you have done your just bachelor's in what? Bachelor's in? In physiotherapy. Yeah, bachelor's in physiotherapy, and then after master's, master's in, physiotherapy. in physiotherapy. Right. Hmm. Oh, so that's great. Orthopedics. I'll be a specialized physio in ortho. We have other specialties in physios as well. We have cardio, ortho, neuro, pediatrics, gynecology. So ortho means like kind health. of related to bones, bones and joints. Yes, bones and joints. Right. Yeah, then it will be great. <laughs> you would be helping a lot of people who are business. having the pain in their joints. <laughs> in joints, it's very common. Or it's very common. Joints. Yeah, and... even though my mom is struggling and suffering from it, like she is having pain in her just joint, like. So, Which joint? Like in legs, like you know. Uh, does she have arthritis? Yes, I think so. She's having problems, and she. Very common, very common. In yeah, legs. exactly. So she, uh, I think she is uh, like you know, uh, just uh, overweight in that way, according to the legs. So mm-hmm. she is getting a lot of pain. But sometimes we do the massage and a lot of stuff we will have to do for her. Mm-hmm. So she. Uh, she's fine. not going for physio. No, like, you know, uh, we are living at village, so we don't have no, the have physiotherapist physio near to us. So, okay. Now so I think, you know, we are just having only like single minute, 9.18. Oh, God, I didn't even realize that we had crossed this much. So how many but, seconds we do have? Uh, It looks like we have 20, 25 seconds to go. So, so yeah, you can like suggest me something <laughs> like whatever it is. You can suggest me to improve. Uh, like if I want to improve a lot, so what should I do? See, within... for your part, mm-hmm. definitely you are doing well. You have surrounded yourself with English, and that's what ultimately we have to do. Whatever we can find in English, we have to start using them within our daily.